What's up my producer friends, it's David with another MonsterProductions.com. Today I want to show you how to make a bell sound which sounds like this. And we're going to be using GMS or Groove Machine Synthesizer, which is a free native FL Studio synthesizer. I did a complete walkthrough tutorial the other day on this synth, and I'll put a link on the screen right now and also leave a link in the description of the video for you if you want to check that out. This sound is actually one of the presets in the pack of sounds that I gave away along with that GMS video, and I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video if, if you guys want to get your hands on those free presets. All right, so the first thing I want to do is where it says bank here. Let's go ahead and click that and go ahead, go to user and default and this will give us a blank slate to start with so oscillator one i want to go ahead and put a sine wave oscillator two let's do a square smooth and oscillator three we're going to do a troll right now we just have oscillator one playing by default let's go ahead and bring in our third oscillator here about 40 percent should be pretty good so let's bring this up to 24 which is two octaves okay and then where it says smooth square let's go ahead and bring this all the way up to 36 which is three octaves which doesn't really do anything yet but we're going to click two to one frequency modulation which basically is uh, oscillator two is going to be fming the sine wave here so let's go ahead and bring this amount up Probably about 20% is pretty good. All right, now let's move over here where it says unisono and let's go ahead and move the voices up to three. Give it a little width uh, and then we'll bring the stereo up as well. Probably about 60%. All right, under keyboard here, let's go ahead and just bring it up an octave. And where it says MIDI EQ here, let's click this button. We'll go ahead and enable our equalizer and we'll bring this low down all the way. Leave everything else the same. Okay, so let's move on to our filter. Uh, let's go ahead and just bring the cutoff down a little bit. I think I'm gonna bring it down to about 80%. And then bring the resonance up just a tiny bit. I mean, we can we can experiment with it. I'll do like 0.15%. Leave it on low pass filter. Go ahead and hit the keyboard button. All right, so our envelope, let's go ahead and first of all, let's hit this mod. Bring the decay down. And then we need to bring the amount up a little bit. So decay should be about 20% and amount should be about 50%. And we're starting to get that bell sound a little bit. All right, let's skip over the LFO for now. We'll go ahead and go to our ADSR here and let's leave the attack down where it is. Bring the decay down to about 50% and bring the sustain all the way down. Let's bring the release up to about 70% sounds pretty good. All right, so let's move on to our effects section over here. Let's add some reverb first. So in order to enable it, we'll just click this glue button here. That sounds pretty good. Let's move on to our delay, AKA echo. Probably just bring this down a little bit here. That sounds pretty good. Let's move on to our high pass. Not really doing much there, but low pass. like that. All right, let's try the phaser. So we can play with this to kind of get the sound that we're going for. It's obviously changing the timbre of the sound quite a bit. That's sounding pretty bellish right there. Let's move on to the flange.
That sounds pretty good right there. Now, if we want, we can even add some distortion. Just a tiny bit. All right, so we're getting some pretty crazy resonances on this, and I think it has to do with the flanger or the phaser, so we may have to tweak this just a little bit more. So we can kind of mess with this to, you know, the flanger, the phaser, and various other parameters that we kind of went through here to really shape the exact sound that we want. We could also potentially go in here to our filter and filter out more frequencies. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know every time I release new videos. I am doing sound design videos as well as FL Studio tutorials and some other random stuff in there as well. But I'm doing videos about twice a week. So be sure to keep an eye out for that and I will see you guys in the next video.